Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get the Category Light plugin working on the Adrenaline emulator. So basically, what this plugin does is it puts your PSP games, your PlayStation games, and your emulators all into file folders. So it just looks neat and it doesn't look like a mess. So a few people said this does not work on Adrenaline. It actually does. You just need to set it up properly and um, and put the files in the right places. So if you guys want to get this working, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up VitaShell. And then once VitaShell loads, press select, connect to your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so I will leave a link in the description to the Categories plugin. Now it is quite old, I think it was last updated, maybe 2011 or something, but it still works and it is still pretty good. So all you guys want to do is just scroll down and we're just looking for the download link. So we need this one right here, the Categories underscore light version 1.6. So click this and it will start downloading the zip file for you. So once that is finished downloading, just head over to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find the file in here. So what we are going to do is just right click the zip file and select extract here. It's then just going to put it in a nice file folder for us. And all we want to do is just double click on it and we need to copy across three files. It's this one right here, translations and the category light plugin itself. So select all of these three, right click and copy. Now you just need to go onto your PS Vita. We need to enable hidden files just so we can find our PSP MU folder, which is right here. Now we need to go into SE plugins and just do right click and paste. If it says replace any files, just let it do it. And then that should copy across perfectly fine. Now there are a few more things we need to do. We do need to add the line of text to the VSH file. So if you double click to open up that, this is exactly what you want to add. So maybe I'll leave a link to this in the description. Well, not really a link, just like this in the description. So you can copy and paste it in, or maybe I'll put it in the comments, um, but it's ms0 uh, dot dot slash se plugin slash category underscore light dot prx and then just a one at the end there is a space between that so once you've got this in there um, you can just click file and save and they'll close out of it now what we need to do we need to click back on psp mu at the top now we just need to go into the iso folder first of all this is where we're going to create the folders for the category plugin so basically you need to right click new folder and then type in cat um, all uppercase now do an underscore and now you need to type in what you want the name of this file to be now obviously this is the one you're going to put your main PSP games in so I'm just going to call mine games and now what we do is just drag our ISOs into this folder so it's very simple now we do the same thing with the games folder so we go into PSP game now these can be a bit different obviously we've got emulators we've got homebrew games and we've got PlayStation games so we're going to create three files and do it for each first of all we're going to do cat underscore PlayStation and now we need to drag in our PlayStation games. so I've got three in here um, this one this one and this one so I'm going to drag these in now we're going to do homebrew games, so I'm going to do cat underscore homebrew. I have got, let's see, two homebrew games in here, these two, so I'm going to drag these into the homebrew folder. And now it looks like I've just got emulators, um, this is a, actually like a save file, so maybe I'll create one saves as well, um, cat underscore saves, just put that in there. Actually, do you know what? We're going to rename that to DLC because it's pretty much uh, DLC. Last one, we have got um, the emulators. So let's just create one for that. Exactly the same. And now let's drag all of our emulators into this folder. So that is literally it for the setup. We have now got all our folders and we can now um, and now the games should be organized properly. So we're just going to enable hidden items off just so I don't delete anything. And that is literally it for the PC. We can now go back onto our PS Vita. I'll show you guys how to set this up and what it looks like. Okay, so back on your PS Vita, we can close out Vita Shell. We don't need that anymore. And let's just launch up the Adrenaline emulator. So once it has loaded, we just need to press select and we need to scroll down until you get to recovery menu and just press on X. 
In the recovery menu, we need to scroll down and just go to plugins and press on X. And we need to make sure the category underscore light dot PRX plugin is enabled. It should be enabled by default, but if it isn't, you can just press X on it to disable or enable it, but make sure it's enabled and then go up to back and then just press X. And now we can scroll down to exit. So next we will need to go over to the system settings because we need to enable the plugin on there as well. So just scroll over um, all the way over to the left. Um, go onto system settings, scroll down and we're looking for category prefix. So press X on this. It might be on none um, when you first check on it, but you need to use this one. Use cat prefix. So press X on that. Now go back now it should be set up so if we scroll over to our um, memory stick you can see we've got emulators dlc homebrew playstation and games our games um yeah these are our iso files now we've got playstation these should be our playstation 1 games and a copy of vhbl is in here as well uh, we've got homebrew games so this is just like the uh, flappy bird and stuff like that we've got dlc so that was that rock band dlc and we've also got emulators. So yeah, pretty cool plugin. I like it. It makes your um, just like whole memory card just look a lot, a lot neater. And now the games are correctly organized. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.